luoghi tra i farfaloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo. I'm thinking today about um, the comment before we complain about what we don't have, let's use what we do have. Scripture indicates very clearly that to every one of us uh, there has been given a gift, an ability, a talent, whether it be a ten talent or a one talent or someplace in between. The fact is that we all have significance. We all have a purpose. We all were placed on earth for a, a reason. And there is no one who has ever been born who is here for nothing but to live and then procreate and then die. No, life is far more precious than that. There is a will and a plan and a purpose of God for each one of us. Think of sometimes, you know, why do we not fulfill or even are able to identify? And uh, so a thought comes to me, use what you have rather than complain about what you don't have. Now, I, I am deeply moved by music and of course, one of my favorite classical singers is uh, Lucian Pavarotti. And of course, one of my Christian favorites is a gentleman by the name of Steve Green. And uh, I, I, I would love to sing like they do, deeply moved by the voices, the singing, the sounds. But the fact is that I can't sing. I mean, I can, I can hold the tune, but the, the beauty, the power that, with which these men sing, I just don't have it. And I don't think anybody of Kurt Trading will give it to me. It was given to these men by God, and indeed they developed it, but in principle it's a gift. So I have to identify what I do have and then focus on that and develop that. Rather than look at others and say, I wish I had that, perhaps I should focus inwardly and identify what I do have and focus and develop on that. I think of um, King David, you know, when he was up in those hills, he could have complaining about why he has to do the dirty work while all the other brothers are down there with uh, Father Jesse and the prophet Samuel determining the next king, he probably wasn't even aware of it. What was he doing up in those hills? Well, I suggest one thing that he was doing was he was lining up a couple beer bottles on some stone wall and he had this sling and he was picking up pebbles and practicing a slingshot. Uh, to break those um, beer bottles on the wall. I say that humorously, but he probably was making very effective use of his time up there in between uh, slingshot practice and uh, playing his harp. He was being prepared to become a king without all the refinements that his brothers had. And indeed, he used, God used what he had, and he used what he had. Even when it came to fighting Goliath, he, uh, he couldn't use the equipment that others used. They probably used it very effectively. He couldn't use it. He had to use the abilities that he had, and indeed the abilities that God had given him were, were more than enough. In fact, probably even more effective than those who had the suit of armor and all that sort of thing. Use what you have. Don't complain about what you don't have. And then the thought comes to me about Moses. You know, I mean, he's up against the Red Sea, mountains on the left side, mountains on the right side, Pharaoh's armies coming 
pell-mell down the road against him and the people that he was leading and in front of him was nothing but a Red Sea. Where was the army? Where was the military? Where was the flotilla to get him across the Red Sea? He had nothing. Well, Moses, don't complain about what you don't have. Do, use what you do have. What do you have in your hand, Moses? A stick, a staff. Oh, just a staff? Well, he used what he had. He used what God had given him, of course, plus his faith in God. And raising that staff and faith in God was enough. Don't complain about what you don't have. Use what you do have. And so wherever you are today, whatever's going on in your life, today God is preparing you for what he has for you for tomorrow. Practice, develop what God has put within you. If you're not a preacher, teach. If you're not a teacher, sing. If you're not a singer, do whatever it is. There's a man in the Bible and uh, he didn't sing, he didn't preach, he didn't teach. We don't even know that he was a great leader, but that man could build stuff. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God was upon him to create cunning works of craftsmanship. I know some people. I have a friend, Bobby Monks. Haven't seen him for years, but Bobby has an incredible gift. He can make anything. He can fix anything. His brain is just developed for things mechanical or building or construction. It is amazing. It's the gift that God gave him. So, dear friend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, remember, don't complain about what you don't have. Use what you do have. Develop what you do have. Instead of being jealous of others, let them be jealous of you. God bless you. My name is Roy, and I'm your friend. Until next time.